right, so I wanna start out by showing you guys some fall clothes that I got. I know it's August, but I was just too excited. So I'm so excited that skorts are back in style right now because I can wear these like cute little short skirts and then in the back they just have shorts. So they're just like cute like dress shorts from the back but then in the front they look like a cute little skirt. So I feel like these will be so nice with like boots like knee high boots and stuff and sweaters and I won't feel like Mom. what honey so these two are both from forever 21 they were like I think this one was $17.99 and $14.99 I got them both in a size small and you guys they don't fit so um I actually went on their website and saw that they do run small after I bought them <laughs> So I'm actually going to return them and I'm going to reorder them in size mediums because I did try them on and they're very, very cute and they're pretty inexpensive. So I really like them. And then the style for sweaters I got is pretty similar. You can tell they're all kind of the same. This one's actually from Poshmark. This one was only like $20 and it still has the tags. I'll try everything on for you guys too so you can see. But I love that one. Now these pieces are from this website called... Good night macaroon, which I've never purchased from before, but one of my like blogger friends was posting about their stuff and it's definitely not cheap, but they were having a good sale for fall. So I bought four items. This I'm so sad because on their website it was called a skort, but there are absolutely no shorts attached or underneath it and it is way too short and it's also too small. I really couldn't even button it. So I don't know, apparently I'm not a size small in skorts, but I'm definitely gonna have to return this one. So I'm gonna try on these four sweaters to show you guys what they look like, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or not. So here's the green one, and like, it's so super, super cute. It's just a little bit small, definitely a little bit small, but I think in a size medium, it would be perfect and just like so cute for fall. Okay, so this is the first one from Poshmark, and I think it's really, really cute. Um, it's not any, like, specific brand, unfortunately, so I don't know where you could find it, but I really love it. And it is bulky, but it's not too bulky. Like, the other ones I'm going to show you are so bulky, so I'm definitely into this one. Okay, this is the one from Goodnight Macaroon, and I don't know if you can tell too much, but it is, like, really thick and chunky. And I don't know, it's almost like too big, like too, like I almost feel like a snowman or something in it. What do you guys think? Like look, it's way, it's way too like, I don't think I like it. It like gives me zero shape. Um, and it also, I want to say it was like, it was well over $50. I can't remember the exact price. It might have been 60 something. I think one of the sweaters I bought was like 80 something. So I think I might end up returning this one just because it's like so bulky. And honestly, it's really delicate. I can tell like with the knit and I feel like one little like bracelet or ring that gets caught in it and it's just gonna like ruin it. And I don't trust myself with that expensive of a sweater. <laughs> okay, here's the other one that I was unsure about. And I think this one was also, this one might've been the expensive one. This one might've been 80 something. I'm definitely gonna return it. It just does not like do anything for me. The weird thing too was all their sweaters that I ordered were one size, which is like kind of odd, but I definitely like think it's cute. I just, if it was like $20, like it's like $20 cute, but not 80. So that's a shame because I really liked it. Okay, this is the last sweater that I got from them. This one was the cheapest. I think this one was like $40 or $50. And it is so cute. I love the sleeves. They're like um, a big billowy sleeve that kind of like comes down like that. And I feel like this would be so cute like tucked into one of those skorts with like some over the knee booties. So this one I am definitely keeping. But honestly, you guys, I think the other three pieces I'm going to send back. I am going to look through their website though a little bit more because there was a lot of stuff on there that was really cute. And maybe I will check out Amazon for some like dupes that look like that that are a lot like less expensive because I just hate spending a lot of money, especially on like trendier pieces like that, like those big billowy sweaters. Um, so yeah, maybe I will do a 
Amazon fall fashion haul if I find enough stuff on Amazon, but I definitely love this piece. Good morning. So, I am, we just got done at the gym and then I just changed there. Sometimes I don't like to wear my gym clothes, like if I'm gonna run around and do errands. So I just changed at the gym and I am going to go return all that stuff I just showed you guys. Um, I have those sweaters. I'm returning all the sweaters and that skirt except for the camel one because that was really cute. Um, but the other ones I'm returning, I have them in a pull-ups Huggies box. Uh, that's how you know you're a mom, right? So I'm gonna go return, drop that off at the post office. Unfortunately, I should have like looked a little bit better at this website because it's um you have to pay for shipping, which was like thirteen dollars and then like shipping to return it and then um it's only a store credit and it takes like three to four weeks to process hopefully it won't take that long but that's kind of outrageous so kind of ticked about that um i did buy a pair of boots from there though too which i didn't have but i have them now so i'll probably show you guys i actually love 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 the boots so i'll probably use my store credit to buy the boots in um a second color because they're really cute um and then i've got to go to the mall and return that forever 21 skirt skirts those two skirts um i need to go to the eye doctor today which is in the mall so it's kind of convenient um i just need to get my eyes checked and everything i feel like i feel like my eyes are constantly just getting worse and worse <laughs> i guess that's just aging but so that's kind of our plan. I gotta go back to Goodwill again. This is kind of like the same thing. I have to like do all these errands, but um, I went through and cleaned up a bunch of Cal's toys and just made like this big box right here of just stuff that we don't need. I, I'm so bad about getting rid of things because I'm like, oh, he likes that. But I got a big box now of toys to go donate and get rid of. And I cleaned like his whole bedroom and all the toys in the family room I went through it all so super productive yesterday but that's pretty much our plan today oh my gosh also it's like when it rains it pours like our the bats won't go away <laughs> and uh so we're having a bat inspection next week hopefully hopefully they're not like in our attic because that would be a huge, probably a huge deal. Um, so it, it's gonna cost a lot of money even for them to just like inspect. So annoying. Um, and then if they have to do something, they're gonna have to like do all this like slippery treatment to the outside of our house so that they can't like roost on our house anymore. But um, instead of doing that, I might just have our deck people add a screen to do a screened in porch on our deck and then that way that'll keep the bats out I don't know so we're trying to figure that out and then our garbage disposal like broke last night and leaked all over the kitchen floor so I've got a plumber coming today and now we got to get a move on Are you a doctor? we're not at the doctor yet hi it's, it's up here um, this big box and then this printer All right. awesome thank you so much need a tax receipt no thank you you too seats in a while. Things you took from me 
glasses off <laughs> so I went in there remember how I'm like oh my eyes are getting my eyes are so bad <sighs> I need to have my eyes checked um, apparently this is awkward I'm like feeding him and someone's getting in their car right there um, apparently I don't even need to wear glasses <laughs> I got my eyes tested and he was like yeah you're like very very minimal prescription he's like it's I guess it's like 0.25 in one eye and he's like you really don't even need to wear glasses. <laughs> and I'm like, I swear they help me when I drive. And he's like, yeah, you could try sunglasses. <laughs> like, I felt like such an idiot. And I was like, cause I was like, oh, they're transition. Like they help. He's like, yeah, they, they probably just help with like the glare and all that. Um, he did say with like my prescription, it'll make things like sharper and clearer, but it's not really like helping with like distance or anything like that, which I don't know, I still swear they work. But they were like, do you just want some sunglasses? And I was like, no, I don't need sunglasses. So anyways, when she was checking me out, she was like, are you sure you don't want sunglasses because your insurance will cover them? And I was like, wait, what? So I got, I'll show you once I get a free hand, but I got um, a pair of Ray-Bans for $20. So I had no idea that insurance, like your vision insurance covered sunglasses. Anyways, I was texting David and he was like, you have to get me a pair too. Um, so I'll have to go back and get him some because I had no idea. Did you guys know that? If you have vision insurance, you can probably get your sunglasses for free from as long as you go to like an eye vision store. So I'll show you them in a second as soon as he's done eating. But I'm exhausted and hot and we need to head on home. Maybe I'll stop at Starbucks. I have a gift card. So here's the glasses that I got. They're just Arabian. I think they're unisex. Um, she said it was like their most popular style. They didn't have like Gucci. It's not like they have like all these like amazing brands. I think Arabian was the only brand that was kind of more like designer. The rest of them were like Jessica Simpson and like nothing against those brands, but they were just like Ray-Ban was the only one that was like the most designer And so I was like pretty excited to get like these designer sunglasses for $20. Um, I think they're pretty cute So I'm gonna try driving home in them and not wearing my glasses, which is gonna feel really weird <laughs> Cat with this caterpillar back there you guys this hair Like it's just this permanent like curl and I cannot get rid of it because it's like postpartum it's so awful. I hate it. These are cute. I'm into this. I felt like such a nerd wearing my transitions all the time. These are real cute. <sighs> Beautiful song, Cal. I love it. Yeah, that, that is so Do a grande nitro cold brew with sweet cream. Here's your granola bar. Thank you. He's not napping because he took a nap in the car, but it wasn't very long. But it's kind of hard to get him to go back down after he does that. I gotta do your three-year-old update soon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna do his three-year-old update. Um, hopefully this, this month for sure, so I can tell you guys all the updates because we've got a lot, don't we, Cal? Yeah, there's a lot of things going on with you. Okay, I was gonna show you guys, I just got my Bath & Body Works order in for fall, so I'll show you guys what I got. I still have my 4th of July stuff. It's August is such a weird month. I'm like, I usually end up decorating for fall in August, so I'll probably do that like after Crew's birthday party when I'm like done planning and stressing about things. No. Um, but yeah, it's still USA in here. But I did get my Bath & Body Works fall order in. So I got a set of wallflowers, they were on sale. And this is like, I don't know, I think this is a newer thing that they do where they just do like a pack of them. 
So I did a pumpkin pack. So all of these scents are pumpkin, vanilla, pumpkin, marshmallow. I've never heard of that one. Pumpkin apple, pumpkin cupcake. Those all sound new. Caramel pumpkin swirl. Pumpkin pecan waffles is like one of my absolute favorite scents. And then sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So I got those. Then I also picked up a couple of their single wick candles. They were on sale, I think two for... I don't know, 18 or something. I got crisp morning air, which I don't love. It's kind of like a cologne scent to it. And then I got sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which I love, it's so good. Then I picked up three of their three wick candles for fall, cinnamon spiced vanilla, which is gonna be so nice in the kitchen. I love like uh, food scents, like pumpkin and spices uh, for the kitchen. So I got that one. I got Cider Lane. I'm not crazy about the scent, but I love that it's orange because I'm actually gonna decorate a little bit for Halloween this year, so I kinda just got it because it was orange. And then Autumn Woods, which I am like kinda disappointed in. It also kinda has that cologne scent to it, but it's okay, it's good for like bedrooms, I feel like. Okay, so then I also picked up some of their accessories. This is a candle holder. I think it's so cute. I think this will be really nice in the kitchen. It's actually like really heavy too. So I got that one and then I got these pillars which I wonder if I could have found them somewhere else cheaper. Um, but they always have coupons and stuff there. So this was $20. Okay babe. Um, so yeah this one was $20 and this one was $15. I got a tall one and a short one. I felt like one they're really cute to decorate with for like Halloween because they're black but also just like the whole farmhouse decor trend I feel like black these will like go with a lot for any season so I just really liked them um, and then I did get one wallflower I am going to decorate for Halloween this year so I thought this one was so cute um, I'm probably going to do some sort of like table or something down in our basement with all like Halloween decor so I'll probably I'll do some sort of video for that yeah let me know when I should start doing fall stuff because I'm excited for fall home decor videos fall shopping videos I probably won't buy a lot this year I mean I say that now but I have a lot of good stuff from last year already so um, I might just do like a little shop with me and like decorate with me we are all freshly bathed and ready for bed I'm gonna go put crew to bed first and let Cal stay up for a little bit but anyways I let Cal watch the Grinch tonight and just the cartoon version I used he watched the Jim Carrey version last Christmas time and he is not allowed to watch it anymore because he would like get scared and he would like growl and so over it but he, i let him watch the regular like cartoon one today and he sat through the whole thing and just like loved it and then as soon as it ended he's like can i watch it again so i'm gonna let him watch it again i told him i was like if you start acting like the grinch though you're not allowed to watch it anymore but i'm gonna end the vlog here um david brought home taco bell i swear we don't always eat taco bell it just was convenient tonight and um we got a new garbage disposal today, so that's always fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.